Hi everyone, my name is Patrick. Hi, my name is Yarimar and we are part of the Cal Poly Pomona American Society of Civil Engineers and this is our series called STEM Kids where we show you civil engineering activities. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Today we'll be talking about bridges. Bridges play an important role in transporting and connecting people. Civil engineers, civil engineers design and build bridges across oceans, rivers, and canyons. Take for example some of the most famous bridges like the Golden State Bridge or the Brooklyn Bridge. Not only do civil engineers design bridges, they make sure they, they are strong enough to not bend or break when holding lots of cars and people. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating you what makes a bridge strong. To get started for this activity, you will need two thick books, paper, tape, and the objects, which are the rocks. The thick books will be used to hold the bridge. They will represent the two canyons that we are trying to connect. The paper will be used to build the bridge. The tape will be used along the video and the object will be used as the weight that will be added to the bridge to represent the cars and the people that travel along it. We will first begin by placing the books about 10 inches apart. Lay a single piece of paper across the books and place the rocks in the middle. Now, what do we see? We see that the flat piece of paper is not strong enough. Now, we will demonstrate how to create a stronger bridge. First, take the same paper and fold the hot dog style, or otherwise vertically in half. Now, place it back onto the, onto the two books. We're gonna add the same objects in the middle and continue to add more until it collapses. By folding the paper in half, it made, it made the bridge stronger to hold more weight. Now let's try a different design for the paper bridge. So for the next design, you're going to take the piece of paper and fold it in half again. After that, you're gonna take the edges and fold it upwards so that it'll prevent the structure from unfolding. <laughs> Using the tape, you're going to tape it along the sides. Okay, we're gonna put it back on the books and you're going to add weight until it collapses. If it becomes too full, add a second layer on top. Now you can see that with this design, it is much stronger than the previous examples. Now these are just very simple ideas about how bridges are designed. We hope you learn more about what civil engineers do and their role in creating strong bridges. Thanks for watching!